Viruses are partial life forms that use our bodies to multiply and spread their personal RNA or DNA. And it's tough luck if you die in the process. But don't blame the virus for just doing its own thing. Rather, blame yourself, or better, learn something about vitamin D that COVID-19 may already know. Our distant sun-worshipping forebears took the spring equinox very seriously, maybe in part because of an essential chemical called vitamin D3 or cholecalciferol. Only the sun's UV rays can act on our skin to break the B ring of dihydrocholesterol and so form vitamin D. The liver then makes the storage form 25-OHD from which the active 125-OH2D is made as needed. 125-OH2D produced in the kidneys, controlled by the parathyroid glands, is also a hormone. And in the D-game, the hormone system, which affects the whole body, always wins. Working via the gut and bones, 125 controls the blood ionized calcium level. So in times of deficiency, other cells that need active vitamin D for local use become vulnerable. The COVID-19 virus may have worked out that this includes your immune system. Well north of the equator, where most of us live, UV light is completely blocked out during winter. So now, at the time of the equinox, unless we've been taking enough extra vitamin D3, our immune systems are surely at their weakest. As the world goes into self-isolation, vitamin D deficiency will get worse unless people take adequate supplements now. Any adult can safely take 100,000 units of cholecalciferol as a single oral dose. Then immediately your liver will raise 25 OHD to levels your immune system needs. No blood test is needed before this cheap, safe and possibly life-saving move. So please go to your pharmacy now, do it, and tell your family and friends too. Thank you.